And look at that, we got everything we were wanting. This feature in Claude, actually Anthropic, has created some of the best prompts I've ever created. This is amazing. But it's not only for AI images. This feature is exactly what you need to generate the best possible and most accurate prompts for LLMs like ChatGPT, or in this case, Claude. They're actually prompts that speak the AI's language. And the best part is you don't even need to know how to do this. That's what this feature in the Anthropic console is for. It's called Prompt Improver. Now, in order to to do this, you'll need to use this method with Anthropic Console. You do need to have some additional credits, but that's okay because I'm still going to show you how to do this and any prompt I created in this, I'm going to give to you completely for free. And for this massive prompt I'm sharing today, check the links in the description. Okay, so here we are in Anthropic Console and the first thing that we're going to do is come down here and then select the second one that's called Generate a Prompt, okay? Now once this prompt box opens up, just briefly describe the task and what you have in mind as far as your goal. I want to create the most realistic cinematic style AI images. Okay, now all you have to do now is simply select generate. And then as soon as you hit generate, look at it, go to work right here. It's going to give me all of this amazingness. Okay, now here it is. This is basically going to be just right off the bat, a prompt generator that you can use across the board. What we're going to do coming up is then we're going to plug this into chat GPT. Then I want to show you what sort of amazing prompts and images we're actually going to get. Now I use this prompt improver for many other things rather than just AI images or AI videos. It's going to work this well for anything across the board. So when it gives me everything, okay, you can see down here at the bottom, it went ahead and embedded some variables. Those are basically going to be the plug and play where you can put in your specific subject, description, or even style preferences. And here it is at the very bottom. It went ahead and then created two image description and style preferences. So go ahead and now select continue. And now it's going to take you to the next step. And now it's going to open up the workbench right here. So on the left hand side, here is the full prompt, but we don't want to stop here. If you were ready to go ahead and run this in the top right hand corner, just select run, press that, and it's going to open up this new box on the right hand side. Now over here is where you can put in two things, okay? You can put in your actual description or what your subject is. So for this case, let's go ahead and give it a new image description. Beautiful woman, editorial magazine, photo shoot, style preferences. Okay, now again, I can also put the same thing here as far as my style preference. And I'll say editorial professional photo for a magazine. Just to really let it know, I want some really good realism. Now down at the bottom, now select run one more time. And now here is your full prompt, the enhanced prompt based off of everything that it gave you and you gave it. Look at this. Here is the enhanced prompt right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this for now. And now head over to an AI image generator and let's see how good of a job this actually did. But we're not going to stop here yet because I then want to show you how to take these prompts and make them even better with some very important keywords. So now here it is. My prompt is copied. It went ahead and gave me this. Let's go ahead and head over to free pick. I'm going to go ahead and paste this whole entire image in, but I'm also going to select my model being Mystic 2.5 Flexible. Now, before we see how good of a job these images did, let me first show you one other tip. Okay. Now on the left hand side, remember it went ahead and gave us this prompt generator. So again, let's Let's go ahead on the left hand side and copy this whole entire thing just like this. Now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come over here to chat GPT and open up a brand new chat. And now I'm going to paste in that prompt generator that the prompt improver just gave us. And now we can utilize chat GPT's talent to improve my prompt. Look down here below. Got it. Please provide the image description and the style preference. And now just like that, let's enter something else again, editorial style photorealistic image of a supercar for a magazine shoot. Let's go ahead and select enter, see what kind of prompts we got from chat GPT, and then also plug this into free pick and check out our final images. Okay, but there is our final prompt. But before we try this one out, let's head over to free pick and I want to show you what an amazing job it did. So here's the first one. Look how amazingly realistic that this image actually looks. Don't you think I look good? Now again, this one was created in mystic 2.5 flexible. As I go to the second one, check this out. In insanely realistic. I love it. So these images right here were done with flux realism. This prompt improver really is worth it to get the most realistic images, but even the best prompts. Now, then what I did at the final version of it by using just flux, where I went ahead and now created my AI influencer Luna. 
I did the same exact prompt, but now you can see I just tagged Luna in the very beginning of the prompt with at Luna. I already trained it in free pick and check out these four images I've got of Luna. But let's also try it in Leonardo AI as well. Now, the reason why I want to use Leonardo right now is because of their latest update called Flow State. Okay, with the supercar image, we're going to come back in here and now I'm going to select Flow State. Open this up and now paste the whole entire prompt right here and now select Generate. Okay, and now just like that, look. As I scroll, it's really an infinite scroll. The more I scroll, the more and more images I'm going to get of this great looking supercar. This did a fantastic job. Thanks to Anthropic's Prompt Improver. Now what we're going to do is go to improve an existing prompt. Let's say you have a very basic prompt that does a pretty good job, but you know you can definitely improve it. We're going to use this, but for AI video. And the reason why I love this so much is because it's going to really provide you with some incredible details once you give it a few more suggestions suggestions. So you can see up here at the very top, you have the system prompt, if any, and then the user message. In the user message, I'm basically going to provide the details or my goal, okay? And then here it is. I need to create an extremely realistic and cinematic AI video using text to video AI video generators, okay? And then the key characteristics, it needs to have a lot of realism and specific camera types and lenses used in Hollywood movies. So in order to make this easier, this is where I would suggest up here at the very top, just putting in the most basic prompt. So I just said a realistic video of a beautiful woman for an editorial video shoot. Let me go ahead and fix the spelling of editorial. Now let's go ahead and now select templatize. Once you do, it's going to automatically detect the exact variable, which in this case should be the actual subject. And then just like that, there it is detected variables. We have subject and now cinematic requirements. Okay. With that being said, now down here at the bottom, it says, what would you like to improve? Simple. Here is where we want to enter in some key details. And I just said, I want to improve the realism, details, camera types, lenses, and angles to get the most realistic AI videos. Now let's go ahead and now select improve prompt. Okay, now it looks like everything is done. We're now going to scroll down and make sure we select open in workbench now. Now this is pretty cool because now we can have a real two-way conversation. So again, up in the top right hand corner, let's go ahead and now select run and enter the subject. And then for my requirement, it's going to be realistic. Let's select run, but we're not going to stop it here because what we're going to do next is going to be very important. Now down here at the very bottom, it says add to conversation. Let's go ahead and select this button. What this is going to do is down in the left hand side of this column, it's now going to say enter instructions or a prompt for Claude. Now, if we want to take things to a whole new level, this is where we can add some additional information, essentially going back and forth and able to get the most realistic or the best prompt for our needs. So what I'm actually going to do is open up this Canva doc and I just copied and pasted a ton of information I found about the most realistic cameras, settings, lenses used. Okay. Everything you see as I scroll down, I'm just simply going to go ahead and copy and paste this information into Anthropic. You can see on the left hand side, I just basically said, please add key characteristics, keywords, camera settings, and stylistic references such as all of these. Okay. Now let's go ahead up at the very top right hand corner. Now select save and run this time. Now we're going to get our prompt and it's going to be even better 10 X better. Okay. So while this is going through its thinking phase, let's see what our images look like in free pick. We have one and we have two images. Both are incredibly good. Now these were done relatively quickly. Such a great job with the level of attention, to detail. Now back to Anthropic. Let's see what we got now. Okay. Now on the right hand side, it did everything we wanted it to do. And our enhanced cinematic description is going to be this one right here. And it is giving me every single detail I wanted. So now the other thing I can do before we wrap this up is down here in the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to select improve prompt. And now it's going to take my original prompt. And now I'm going to make it even better by then providing the actual details for all those camera lenses. So I copied it again from my Canva doc. And now I'm going to paste this whole entire thing right here. Now let's select improve prompt. Now what this is going to do is now we're going to have a full fledged prompt engineer or a prompt generator that we can use over and over again, gathering all these characteristics. And now all we have to do is just change the subject each time we use it. It looks like it's writing the final draft. 
This is gonna be our final prompt generator that we're gonna be able to use in any LLM to get the most and best looking realistic images or AI videos. And look at that, there we have it. On the left-hand side, we got everything we were wanting. Amazing job. Now, this is where you could take this whole entire prompt right here and then copy it. And again, now you could take these into any LLM like ChatGPT or Claude, and now you're gonna have the best possible prompt generator that you can get. And because it was developed in the prompt improver in Anthropic, it was specifically created to speak the same language as these LLMs. So don't forget, check the links in the description because all these prompts I showed you today, the prompt generators I've been creating in Anthropic Console, I'm gonna share with all of you guys completely for free. Links in the description. And if you like this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.